all right guys welcome to this episode of my video and how are you doing how are you doing i'm sure you are doing very fine in fact before i start this video if there's nothing you are going to be commenting in my video today i just want to know how you are doing and i want to thank all my subscribers for staying with me thank you so so much so i'd like to know how are you doing even if it's just telling me i am fine in the comment section please do so all right i'll be so excited to see what you say about that and then all right now i know the reason why all of you are here i know the reason why you are watching me right now because there is something that attracted you and that thing that attracted you surely you get it today all right now there are two things i i want to dealt on today there are two things i want to deal on today now the first one is about the fact that the secret of um the the, the president elect as people call it um the president elect which is bola tinibu all right his secret has been revealed by pastor chris and that is what i'm here to share with you today and another thing i also want to look at is um the fact about what is going on in see it i'll talk about it i'll talk about it because you can't be a christian and you don't know what's going on in your world all right so those are the two things i i want to really push in today for you to get because that's what brought you here now Right before I go into today's um, main content, which I've told you already, all right, I'd like you to please, if you are coming newly to my channel, please, like I say, please just go ahead and subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel and like this video, all right, like this video and also share, let other people know what is going on. Because I was surprised at the fact that so many people, not even so many people, because I know people didn't vote Tinibu, but people still went on to vote Tinibu despite all the prophecies that was released by several men of God. All right, now I am here because of Pastor Chris and Tinibu. All right, so I'll start with what is happening on ground. Okay, do you remember the the prophecy that um, Pastor Chris gave um, one time before the election began, when they were having one of his one of the program? All right, he was having one program, praise at all. All right, so he gave a prophecy right in that program, which I want to start with that prophecy towards what you understand in this video today all right remember that in that prophecy pastor chris said that he has three he saw three candidates he saw three candidates now be, stay with me stay with me so i get what i'm saying he said he saw three candidates all right and he said the first one all right that when the first one has his place in power in nigeria all right that what he's going to do is that he's going to be mocking christians He's going to be mocking Christians, and he later said that that um, particular president that the Holy Spirit revealed to him that his name is Jakal, Jakal, and that it has been cut off. That will, that was the first candidate, and then he talked about um, the second candidate, which he said if the second candidate should come into power as president, that he will sell Nigeria, and he also talked about the the last candidate and he said that he has prayed that God should give him wings to fly and he also mentioned that the name of that candidate is in the Bible. Fine. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is about that first candidate. That first candidate. Now you will need to understand that whatever these evil doers are, are doing, they don't just bring them out for you to see so that it will make sense or look nice in your eye. No. There are reasons why they bring some of the things, they do some of the things they are doing. All right. Now, looking at um, the president elect, Bola Tinibu, all right, let's come from there because that is what I am here to discuss with you today. Okay. Now, have you look at um, um, something Pastor Chris has been talking about in a long while now? All right. If you look at during 2020, Pastor was. Pastor Chris was dealing on the COVID-19, so he brought several other things, and one of it was this baphomet that you are seeing right on this um, picture right now. This baphomet. So Pastor Chris dealt on this baphomet. Now, if you notice Bola Tinibu's cap, you will see all of his cap, and I'm I'm not talking about uh, all all those his native cap. Look at it. You see the design that is dealt on is exactly the same. Um, exactly the same image on the baphomet which is the snake look at the picture you will see what i'm talking about that is why I'm, I'm here to discuss because i'm here to trace out some of these things so that you can equally see with me why i say that the secret has been revealed all right 
Now, if you look at you see the fact that that um, snake is the same thing on his cap. The same thing on his cap. So it's not a mis, it's not a, 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 you know, misconception there. All right. And if you also notice that each time that Tinubu is doing his campaign, you see him do a sign like this. You see him do a sign like this. Look at the hands of the performance. Isn't it the same thing? Isn't it the same thing? All right. Now you are noticing what I'm telling you now. now. The reason why I am really here, what, what, inspired, what inspired me to bring this video today is not that part, but after researching and finding out some of these things that are related to Bola Tinibu, because even Tinibu himself doesn't even know why he's doing what he's doing. The man is too old, he doesn't even know why he's be, he wants to become a president. He doesn't know, he doesn't even know. So there's something that is actually controlling him. And that is what I'm here to discuss with you about. Okay, so I am here today because of the ongoing program that Pastor Chris is holding. I don't know how many of you know about the program. All right, it's called Your Love War with Pastor Chris. You can see the picture right here. So this program is actually going on. And today being the 10th of um, March is the final day. Now, the first day, Pastor Chris said something. That is why I am bringing it up in relation to the lifestyle of Bola Tenebu. Okay, so Pastor Chris brought some things up and he talked about the fact that, do you remember, let me let me just read some of the things he said so that I, I, I will not just, okay. He stated in, he read a scripture, Pastor Chris read a scripture in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 15. All right. Now, in that scripture, he's talking about the fact that um, Jesus was asked to pay tax. All right. Let me read what Pastor Chris said here. He said, he said, he began telling them what will happen. That was after, remember the fact, uh, let me bring the story of Saul now. Okay. You know the story of Saul and how Saul became the king of Israel. It was because the children of Israel said they needed king just like everybody else. All right. Now, because of that, God said that since that is what they are looking for. All right. Now, Pastor Chris begin, begin from that. I'm not going to read the whole story for you, but look at this particular point was what brought me. He said, he began telling them what will happen. All right. If they needed the king. He said, number one, taxation imposed. That's what Pastor Chris said. He said, taxation imposed. He now said, Remember what Jesus responded when he was asked when he was asked to pay tax. Who he now asked them who is meant to pay tax? Citizen. Is it citizen or the foreigners? Okay. And he said here that uh, today everyone thinks taxation is normal. It is not normal. Satan is responsible for it. Taxation is a sign of ownership. Please listen to me. Get what I'm saying now. Taxation is a sign of ownership. Remember, circumcision was God's sign in the, in the body of the Jew that God was in covenant with them. It was called the court. Okay. Now, how is this related to Bola Tenebu? Do you know that um, when Bola Tenebu was a governor of the Lagos state, he actually made Lagos state to become his, his personal property. All right, it made Lagos state to become so difficult that everybody was paying tax to this man. Everybody was paying tax to this man. Look at what Pastor Chris is saying here. He said that taxation, remember, taxation is not normal. Taxation is not meant for everybody to pay. It was not meant for citizens. It was meant for foreigners. Okay. All right, so listen to me now. Listen to me now. He mentioned the second thing, which is loss of private property. All right, and he said that when you have satanic government in place, you have increased taxes. <laughs> All right, Pastor Chris made it very clear that taxes is Satan's. He said that Satan is responsible responsible for taxes. Okay, now look at the fact that Bola Tinibo actually make taxes very compulsory in Lakers. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means there's a relationship there. There's a kind of relationship between him. And what I'm discussing about today, all right? You seen him and what I'm discussing about today. Okay, so looking at this, the first thing I told you was the fact that 
when uh, Pastor Chris gave that prophecy, he said when, when the first candidate come into office, he's going to make Christians to, he's going to mock Christians. Okay, let me come here again now. Do you, if you, if you were watching um, Bola Tinubu's speech, when he actually made his speech after he became, he said that he knows that many people didn't vote him to be where he is, all right? He knows that many Christians, Christians, didn't vote him to be where he is. What is that actually telling you? It's actually relating to you something that he knows. You see, when Pastor Chris gave this prophecy, all right, it is now that it's looking so clear to me. It's now it's looking so clear, all right? So the reason now that he has become, now, if, if, if because he has not become president yet, if he is eventually sweating and he becomes the president, all right, he's gonna go for Christians. Now I understand why Pastor Chris gave that prophecy. Now I understand. And he's also going to make, if he could make taxes in Lagos so much that he make taxes, uh, he make Lagos became his personal property. What do you think when he becomes the president? You see? And uh, you know, I believe so much in the words of um, Pastor Chris. I believe so much in the words of Pastor Chris. All right, Pastor Chris Abs says something that they, 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 a country deserve the, 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 the um, government that they have. All right, now with the situation on the ground in Nigeria, it doesn't look like that is, um, that the government that Tinubu is coming for is what Nigeria deserves. Is what Nigeria deserves, all right? Now looking at all the link I have pointed out to you, all right, you notice that there's something situated between um, um, Bola Tinubu and the performance, all right, which is actually related to the devil. So my brothers and sisters, listen to me. So many things are really going on. All right, so many things are really going on. That's the more reason that I believe in all the prophecies that all those men of God gave, and I think everybody should believe too, because yeah, they are going to really come to pass. Okay, now I told you that I have two things that I want to discuss with you today, and the second one was about the fact that the 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 Brazil carnival. I don't know how many of you have watched it, but look at they were mocking Jesus. Those are the two things that I want to discuss. They were mocking Jesus in their carnival. And then after the carnival, a flood came into their country. Now, the reason why I, I, I am so particular about this, bringing it into this talk now, all right, is because every of you need to realize that you need to, if you have not received Jesus, boy, you've got to receive Jesus. So me, I, I, I have Jesus. I have received Jesus. He's the Lord of my life. You need to, because if rapture takes place, you won't want to stay in this world. I am telling you the truth. Because of the wickedness that is going on. Look at the pictures that is going on, all right? You can see several rituals that these people have done. Several rituals. We are mocking Jesus, and then they brought the devil out. They brought the devil out now to show him publicly that they are not ashamed. That is the same thing Bola Tenebu is doing. That is the same thing Bola Tenebu is doing. So my brothers, I, I really think that this video has really pointed out some of the things I wanted to show you because Pastor Chris, remember two things I mentioned that Pastor Chris gave. He said number one, taxation imposed. Number two, loss of private property. Those are the two things that will happen if Bola Tinibu eventually become the president of Nigeria. So, this is secret, has been reviewed a long time. Pastor Chris gave that prophecy, and it is now that I'm really seeing it. And I hope you saw it too. Alright, so I want to thank you for watching today's video. And I believe that you actually enjoyed today's video. Alright, I, I spent my time to do this video. Alright, I would like you to also go ahead and just like this video. Alright, if you can, share this video. And I would like you, before you go, I said in the beginning of the video that even if you don't want to say anything concerning this video or what I talk about in this video, just tell me how you are doing. Just say I'm fine. I'll be so, so excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for staying with me. Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Alright, thank you.